for it reaches to the highest mountain mountain and it flows to the lowest valley valley oh the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power Take off your shoes for the place where you are standing is holy ground. My God, have we forgotten the sanctity of your sanctuary, this human body, once a place where the high priest of the home could rest in peace, now a graveyard for burnt out consciences and washed up virginities, may they all rest in peace. What used to be lifetime commitments are now one night stands, two month loves, three year soul mates, yet angels cringe while these souls mate have mercy. We have abused the sanctuary. He has let his fingers loose locks as lewd thoughts linger. He walks into her outer court and pops the buttons slowly. She's a little excited, so she bites her lip. This is an armed robbery, but there is no gun on his hip. His only weapon is that all too friendly neighborhood Spider-Man grip. Or is it devil? horns, baphomet appendages. This deception is one of cleanliness. See, he thinks his hands are clean because he washed after entering, but don't you know, soap and water can't erase the scent of the soul of someone's daughter. This was out of order for her. Time has not yet come while she is apparently on the verge. Because he parts lips like Red Seas, it's ironic since Red Seas will be what cleans this temple long after he leaves, washed by the blood, regret, relief. He treats this temple like a hotel. It's ludicrous. He lubes it with spit shines. See him set the mood, he'll light the candles and burn the incense until he's senseless. He lost his senses the moment he breathed her aroma. It makes his head swim, so he laces up his trunks and dives off the deep end. Head first, he eats the showbread. Lick your lips, dab the corners. Did you eat well, my son? See, this feast was meant for priests and priests alone, but he got hungry. KFC licked his fingers clean, but he's stuck with a bone. He's collecting her moans like coins, temple run. And don't you hear them? Clink, clink, clink. Dropping in his coffers, clink, clink, clink. Judging by the noise, she is quite the saint. I think I just heard her pay her tithe and her offering. You're my king, she whispers as her body quakes with seizures, but it's time to pay your taxes, girl. Now watch as she renders unto Caesar. Are you pleased, sir? He sees her knees bent for more than prayer. Or maybe, God, I hope not. Maybe this is the prayer. And so he asks if she's ready for his penis. And let the church say yes. So he parts lips like Red Seas. It's ironic since Red Seas will be what cleans this temple long after he leaves. Washed by the blood, regret, relief. This fake priest stands erect ready to complete a consummation of an abomination, but there is an issue of blood. 
See, this is her very first time. A veil lies between him and the most holy place. A veil that's not to be touched until she walks down the aisle, dressed in radiant white, led by her father's hand, down to the altar like a pure, spotless virgin lamb. For behind the veil, inside the most holy place, lies the Ark of the Covenant, a symbol of the marriage vows and the place where God himself resides. Here, priest, temple, Christ, intertwined to form a replica of the Trinity, a bond which creates love infinitely. She was never meant to bleed from shame, but in remembrance of the Lamb that was slain in her place after all, before new life can be conceived in her, in us, blood must be shed. So we do this in remembrance, sex designed to be communion. This veil was intended to be lifted. But because we don't know how to wait, the veil was torn as he penetrates. And as he bleeds all over the cross, she bleeds all over the sheets. But you don't care about none of this fancy schmancy temple talk, incense and showbread and the like. He's just trying to get some. So he parts lips like Red Seas. It's ironic since Red Seas will be what cleans this temple long after he leaves, washed by the blood, cleansed by the blood. Regret and relief. We treat this temple, these temples, like ho tells. It's ludicrous, and we've got to stop. For in the sanctuary, God is here.